Epe, who represent a large part of the industry, uh, published a five-step approach for sustainable heating and cooling called Count on Cooling. And it looks to address the increasing demand that we're going to have for cooling and how important it is uh, worldwide for different communities in, in where we live. But if there is going to be increased demand for cooling, uh, then it, it is very important to look at the energy efficiency and how we operate and work, work our systems. New technology is always becoming more energy efficient. Uh, we're seeing that some of the new refrigerants come into market are more efficient than its predecessors. But the two combined in terms of design uh, of these equipment for the different refrigerants is also improving. Um, but it's also important to look at life cycle costs because different types of equipment are more efficient than others. And sometimes, uh, what may be uh, a very cheap option uh, for the initial outlay you know, may prove more costly because it's not as energy efficient as some systems. Uh, looking at some of the new HFO blends that are on the market, they, they are showing already uh, that they are very energy efficient for the applications in which the producers and the equipment and refrigerants are, are looking to use these. And then we come on to the topic of, of heat pumps, which could be a real game changer over the next few years towards moving towards this net zero um, in terms of uh, both their energy efficiency and how they work to provide both heating and cooling.